used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over town, trying to be cautious, showcasing my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down. That's not how I'm living now. I did a 360, turn my whole life around. Now I roll the keys again, yeah, I like how that sound. I wanna go to heaven where there's no sin allowed. The sin is I convert it and change. People say I'm different since I came out the game. Hey, my beauties, it is Cece, your frugal goddess. I am coming to you today with a, um, di a quick dinner idea. These are uh, Pampered Chef. Uh, what are they called? Hold on one minute. Let me get the box so you guys can see what they are. The Pampered Chef Tortilla Shell Baker. It's a set of two. I will nanotape the price right up here at the top. I received these. If you are friends with me on Facebook, I uh, I don't remember if I got them free or if I actually had to spend a few dollars. It was not much. If you do a Pamper Chef party, um, you can do it online. You can do it in your home. It's various ways of doing it. I will link uh, Jennifer Thompson's link down below with her uh, all her information. You can get in contact. You will email her and she can help you do a Pamper Chef party. Anywho, these are the tortilla shells. Um, these are the bakers. And what I did, I actually did mine in the oven, but these are stones. These are baking stones. And again, I did mine in the oven. I did the small serving shells because you guys know that I am trying to watch my weight. I'm getting ready to put a couple more. Be quiet, Stanley. I'm getting ready to put a couple more in the oven because I already know that Stanley's going to want another one. The kids, um, Ja'Cory's probably going to eat two, but I myself, I'm going to eat one. I will nanotate a picture right here of what the finished product look like. And I'm going to do step by step of how I do my chicken salad, Pamper Chef chicken salad, tortilla salad. Okay, so I'm going to pause this right now because I am using my hand to get out of here. I'm use, I'm holding the camera with my hand, so I'm going to pause it right now, and I'm going to cut my lettuce up and put it on top of the shell, plate my shell, put the, uh, the lettuce on top, and then I'll be right back. Okay, here, this is romaine lettuce. I cut up and I put a lot in my little shell because roughage is very good for you. Lettuce has hardly no caloric value. It's mostly water. Um, Y'all, I'm trying to get the lettuce. I've been chewing some of the lettuce. Anyway, um, it has almost no caloric value and it's plenty of water. So, I put the romaine lettuce in my shell. I'm getting ready to add pickle de gallo because when I went to get my tomato, it was soft and I don't do soft tomatoes. So, instead of using just plain tomatoes, I'm getting ready to add my pickle de gallo and I will be right back. Okay, there you have it with the romaine lettuce. That's the pickle de gallo, which I get mine from the Hispanic store in my area. And it is freshly made daily. Y'all excuse my ashy hands. Uh, anyway, it is onions, um, tomatoes, jalapenos, and uh, cilantro, and lime juice. When I tell you, if you have a authentic Hispanic store in your area, please go find you some pickle de gallo. So next, I'm going to add my shredded chicken. I'll be right back with that. Okay, I just added my shredded chicken, and I made that myself in the crock pot. I put a little water in it. Um, you can use boneless, skinless chicken breast, boneless, skinless thighs. Uh, you can use leftover rotisserie chicken. You can use whatever you want to. You, put, you can use pork. You can use beef. You put it in the crock pot, add your charcoal seasoning to it, and just let it cook. This is what it looks like. I had to reheat it in the microwave just to heat it up because um, I cooked it yesterday. <clears throat> and I'm going to top it off with this Hernandez salsa. If y'all don't get with this Hernandez, y'all know I'm finna get you. I'm finna get you. This right here is fire. It is wonderful. You need to get with the Hernandez. I'm going to top it off with that. 
I'm going to include a picture. See, where's my fingertip? Right there of the finished product. But I'm going to come back and let you see what my finished product looks like. So give me a couple of minutes. Okay, there's my finished product. Now, my husband, he loves to put ranch dressing on his taco salads. I think I'm going to just stick with that because that's enough calories for me. Here's what I want to show you. The um, This is what it looks like before it goes in the oven. They do have a recipe on PamperChef.com. I will include the link down below. But the way I do mine is I just spray them with, this is the uh, coconut cooking spray. You can get this from Dollar Tree. You can use uh, any cooking spray. I spray mine down on both sides with that. And I also spray my baking stone with it. And then I put it in the oven for the desired, I think it's 8 to 12 minutes. I put it in there. Then you let it cool down. It will seem a little soft <clears throat> before you let it cool down. Once you let it cool down, it is wonder it's just nice and crispy and very good. You guys, this is my Pamper Chef quick and easy chicken tortilla salad. So you guys know I want you to have a beautiful, blessed day. Remember to be your own kind of beautiful and tell somebody you love them later.